Greetings Jeepers! So what we want to do here since we got this axle, front axle off the uh, 47, we're going to uh, take off the diff cover and we want to confirm uh, what the gear ratio is in there. It should be 5.38 uh, but we'll take this diff cover off and we'll count up the spline, do a little bit of math and we'll confirm it's uh, 5.38. And what we're going to do is take the brake lines off first and first of all, you just have to take this clip off. And there we go. That's one. You'll have to do the same on the other side. Do the same step on this side. And then we can take the brake lines off the front axle. Taking the flex line off the main brake line on the front axle. Just spins off. Now we're continuing with the brake line bracket that holds onto our front axle. Just unloosen it and take off the bracket and release part of our brake line. Next, we have to take off the two brackets that are to our front of our differential. And then the brake line will have to come off our three-way junction here, and then that will just fall right off. Now we free our two brake lines off the three-way junction, just unloosen them, and we'll get both these brake lines off. Number one, and now number two, same step. Once you got that unloosened, we have to take these two brackets off and loosen your bolts from your diff cover. As you can see, it's all starting to come apart now. Put two brackets off your brake line, and it'll just pull it right out. That's to remove your brake lines from your front axle. Now continue to remove all the other bolts from your differential cover and then we'll get in the inside of our diff. Okay, next we should take off the cover. We're just going to break this uh, gasket seal on the diff cover with just a good old fashioned X-Acto knife just to break the seal because it's been painted a little bit and, and there's gasket sealant in there. Just go around most of it, and that should do it. Just kind of releases after that. And there it is. So we'll clean up both sides of the, the diff cover and the differential and put a new gasket in there. The oil is looking good. It's green, nice and clean. clean. Nice and clean. So once you got your diff cover off, uh, you count up the splines on the ring first. So what we've done is just a, uh, took a good old jiffy marker to know where we started from and just made a, a mark, a plus in this case. And then we counted up 10 splines, made another mark, and then counted another 10 splines, and then counted another 10 splines. So now we're at 30, counted another 10 splines, now we're at 40, and then 40, one, two, three. So you might want to make a note of that because you'll need that number. The uh, ring splines is 43. Once you got your teeth counted on your ring, we'll now move deeper into our differential housing. And then back here, we have our pinion gear. And this right here, so at the very bottom, you can see it's marked with a Sharpie and that will make that zero. So counting, count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then back to zero, so number eight. So we have eight teeth on our pinion gear, and then we write this down on our piece of paper. So we have 43 on the ring, and we have eight teeth on our pinion, and now we'll just do some math, and we'll get our ratio. And the math is simple as this. So we have 43 teeth on our ring, we have eight teeth on our pinion, so 43 divided by eight, is 5.375. So the gear ratio, I guess you could round to, is 5.38. And the gear ratio for a 1947 CJ two-way wheelies Jeep front axle diff is 5.38. That's it. Subscribe. Bye.